Welcome again with another comparison tour. Today, we will present a complete comparison of modular and non-modular PSU. Stay with us and help yourself. Before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and tap the bell icon. So, we have showcased the comparison based on some major points such as Basic differences Cable management Performance difference Ease of use And Price point too. First, let's get an idea of a modular and non-modular power supply. PSS are of three types. Fully modular Semi-modular and Non-modular they are generally based on their performance, price, size, and cable management. Now, let's discuss the basic features. If we take into consideration of the non-modular PSU, it comes like its name, no module. The cables of a modular PSU come attached, and you can't change them. On the flip side, the cables come separately with a modular PSU. Besides, modular PSU can be of two types. Semi-modular PSU and Fully Modular PSU You can guess the look by the name, of course. The Fully Modular PSU lets you complete access inside the PSU. And, in the case of the Semi-Modular PSU, it comes with half of the cables connected. Next discussion is on Cable Management. Cable Management is a crucial attribute to care about before buying a PSU. Cable Management can also affect the performance and temperature issues of a PSU. Modular PSU has a great cable management system. There are PCI Express pins and PCI pins on a PSU. You need to maintain them. Again, modular PSUs have dedicated circuit boards to manage the cables inside them. This leaves the extra hassle if you want to replace or modify your system. Contrarily, non-modular PSUs have the fuss in cable managing. Cable management is hardly up to the mark of non-modular PSUs. Though the price of non-modular PSUs is nothing, compared to that of modular PSUs, cable management can be a pain on the back. What about performance difference? There is a huge performance difference between modular and non-modular PSUs. You can easily see them through benchmarks. The performance of non-modular is good according to its price. But, if you are looking for a PSU, for your heavy build, non-modular is a huge no. Non-modular is mainly dedicated to office and regular environments because they are mainly based on the fact of cost cutting. Also, the performance differences are not that, as semi-modular or fully modular PSUs. The good factor of non-modular PSUs is that, they are small in size and good for casual uses. But if you are planning on a power build, a non-modular PSU will be a bad choice. Let's hear a bit on ease of use. Modular PSUs have great user accessibility. We told you that there are no hassles in the case of fully modular PSUs. You can install them as easily as any other hardware. Just connect the pins dedicated to dedicated software and you are good to go. Here, no need to worry about the cable systems and fans. Non-modular PSUs require a lot of hassle. You will have to first place the PSU in a suitable place, then connect all the pins manually. After that, you have to manage the cables and put them together. That's a lot of hassle for the hardware. The biggest drawback of a non-modular PSU is that you can't easily replace the PSU. As there are a lot of cables, you have to unplug them manually, which is a great hassle for regular systems. Also, non-modular PSUs spike their temperature very often. This happens due to excessive cables surrounding the PSUs. Finally, the price difference. The cost of being fully modular is a bit high. Non-modular may win this section because they are very cost-friendly. But not cost-efficient. Hope you got the idea of which PSU you should pick. Right. So, enjoy your build and do subscribe to the Tech Fixer channel. Thank you.